guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Alright, since last time, which was like two weeks ago since the last episode, I went through the pretty much the entire game again, because, well, lost save state, which I still have no idea why. But I'm back here now, and I learned a very important lesson as to save it on multiple files. So, as of right now, I'm what I'm doing is, um, using save states as well, and using all three save files, just to make sure that I don't lose this again. Uh, as far as characters go and everything, um, uh, levels should pretty much be the same, really. I think I was on level 32 for Perno last time. I'm, 30, I'm on 33 now, so that's no big deal. Yeah, everyone has their best equipment uh, purchased from the, uh, the, uh, the Aldeni Village. And I also went ahead and stole six Rainbow Helms for everybody, since they, are, they can all use them. They're much better than the Glow Helms you can buy in the Aldeni Village, so don't even worry about buying them, actually. And um, that's pretty much it there, as far as texts go. Um, honestly, I don't remember what all I had last time. I think this is pretty much the same. I don't remember. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure it's the same. But one thing, I don't think I had Confused last time. You know, attack an enemy with Confused four times. It's basically, it's basically you attack an enemy four times, doing around half damage or so. Essentially, it's what that does. But other than that, um, we're pretty much good, and we are back on track, finally. But uh, before we uh, progress, I'm going to switch in Marley for Fraud real quick. We have a boss battle right here. Some more beasts and an imp. Or, I guess, imp. I don't know. Oh, we go. Blue beast, red beast, and mud imp. What we'll want to do first... Uh, what, the, what do we want to do first, actually? Um, let's see. Let's wait for Marley's turn. Because we can charm some good, we can, uh, uh, charm some good things from these guys. So, let's see. Let's just have Ayla charm. No need to wait for Marley. Because since a Ayla has the uh, charm top, so... That increases their um, chance of stealing an item, actually quite a bit. We got a mermaid cap right there. Uh, let's see, just wait for Ayla's turn again. And steal from the red beast this time. These guys, um, they can be a little tricky. Probably not the, not the hardest boss fight of the game so far, but it can be a little tricky, so having Marley along helps for healing because she has a cure. Alright, just wait till Ayla's... Give Ayla one more turn, and let's, let's have Ayla, let Marley care herself. Ooh, excuse me. Alright, Ayla, go ahead and charm from the Mud Imp. I got another a speed tab. Alright then. The thing is with these guys is you can probably guess the uh, red beast is starting to inspire, blue beast is starting to dance water. The thing is Chrono can hit any of them with lightning too, so I'm just gonna have them use that to deal a couple hundred points of damage to all of them. Nothing special, but man, every little bit helps. <laughs> and then what I will want to do, let's see, I'll have Marley and Chrono use Ice Sword on the Red Beast. If you have Ice Sword too. Uh, if, if you happen to have that, if, you, if you've been uh, on top of your training, um, by the way, Ice Sword 2 is um, confused and Ice 2 between Cro uh, Chrono and Marley. If you have that, then feel free to use that instead, because it'll actually hit the uh, Mud Imp in the back as well. But I do not have that quite yet, since Marley does not have Ice 2. But, oh, she definitely will soon, as you guys will see in the next area. Yeah, Ayla, you pretty much just dole out mid to everyone who needs them, since Kiss brings about a crappy amount of HP anyway, so... Let's see... My sword... My sword, there you go. Yeah, as far as HP goes, let me take a look at my notes here. The Mud Imp only has 1200 HP, but he has really good defense. And both beasts have 5000 HP. So actually, one more Ice Sword on the uh, Red Beast will take it out. So they start away from their turns, and the Mud Imp heals them, yeah, 150 HP, that's no big deal. Because yeah, we're dealing like 1800 plus anyway, so that's not really gonna help. And yeah, this will take care of the Red Beast. And then I'll switch over to um, having Chrono and Ayla use Volt Bites on the uh, Blue Beast. And then Marley can take care of healing duties. Let's see... Yeah, Volt Bite. It's probably won't deal as much damage as, it, as um, Ice Sword did to the Red Beast, but meh, oh well. Yeah, and I know sets. Not no big deal. Man, that's 
really about it. These guys aren't really that hard. And yeah, I'll take the rock at them and kind of provoke them to attacking you. So yeah, no, no big deal, really. Um, let's use, let's try out haste. Yeah, cuts allies wait time by half. Let's add that on Ayla and Chrono actually, so you can use you can use a volt bite faster. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of stuff to say. There's just, uh, there's really not a lot to this battle, to be honest. I'm gonna have to heal Chrono in a second or two. So I'll take care of that first. Let's just get pure on him. And then you guys use, um, Volt Bite again. A couple more Volt Bites will take down the Blue Beast. And then for the Mud, I'm just using strong as attacks, and now that's pretty much it. So like I said, the Mud Emblem only has 1200 HP, but pretty good defense, so... Let's see, the Alamara will use Haste on Chrono with her next turn. And then probably, I think, maybe one more Volt Bite will do, if not, then two more will do it. I'm guessing it's probably going to be two. Yeah, you need to stop attacking me, it's not nice. Alright, see another Volt Bite, and Marley... No one really needs healed right now, so it's just good Haste on Chrono. Kill him? No, it will not. Yeah, one more Volt Bite should do it. Then I'm gonna use Cure on Ayla real quick as well. Yeah, you just keep doing that. I couldn't really care less. Okay. You guys, yeah, you just do your thing. Ow. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Okay, this should probably take care of him. Cure on Ayla. Heal ally more. Well, okay. See, this should probably kill him. Wow, really? Jeez. Well, I think the reason why he's dealing about 900 damage around, and I guess I think I've used it five times now, so for a Silvoy, I dealt around 4,500 damage, so. This is taking longer than I thought it would, to be honest. But once you go in the next area, they will be able to have a much easier time with bosses, as you guys will soon see once I kill these guys. That should kill him now, finally. Okay, you did a cure on Chrono, and pretty much just use, I'm just gonna use my strongest single tets, really. I don't know if Rod Throw would do that much damage. Well, actually, probably would, now that I think about it. And I can show off confusion in this battle as well. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um, note to self, don't use physical attacks against these guys. Uh, let's try Volt Bite, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit because it's uh, getting a little boring. What the hell? Wow. Am I missing something here? Like, I don't know. Let's try Falcon Hit, I don't know. And then, try Ice, I, I don't know. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Okay, so much for having high defense. Well, he does, but... Yeah, I'm just fast forwarding this a little bit, so don't mind that. Yeah. Just want to speed this up a little bit, because it's... bouncing a little annoying. Alright, there we go, finally. Alright then, now let's go ahead and switch out Marley for Frog. And basically what I'm doing, I'm doing in order of levels. Like, obviously you keep Chrono in all the time. And the order I go in, I go Robo, Ayla, Fraud, Luca, then Marley. I go in that order as far as, level, as far as the leveling goes. I go into, go into this place called I think Mount Well. Oh, this guy right here. This guy is one of the main reasons why this area is very, very good for training. As all the other places we've been to, they've been okay for training. They haven't been this good as this, as this area will be. But this guy here, the Rebel, as you noticed, he um. It cancels out your tets and items at the very start of the battle. And you only have a few chances to hit him before he runs away. And he has very, very high evasion. And that killed him, and you will soon see. Get a thousand experience points and 100 tet points and mid ether. And there are multiples of the multiple copies of these things around the area. So, highly recommended you to try to kill all of them. As many as you see, because there's, I think, at least six of them around here. 
So definitely, definitely, definitely give it your best shot to try and kill him. And I think that's about it for me, guys. Um, next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we will continue exploring Mount Mountain of Woe. This has been IR Movie signing off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.